Okay guys, this is our chance to win. So as you can see, this is like Magic the Gathering. I really love this Ordinem. I will teach you everything you need to know. And guys, this is so good by playable games. Let's get started. So guys, first things first, you need card packs. So you can purchase packs on their website. I will link it in the description below. Just connect your MetaMask. And as you can see, make sure you have enough balance and click confirm so make sure you have bull we've reviewed many bull games before like nexus okay we love playable games guys and of course the game that we're reviewing right now is made by playable games one of the developers and we're gonna play with one of the developers later so make sure you watch until the end of this video because you will surely enjoy and as you can see here each pack has one weave card five common cards three uncommon cards and one epic card so there's also a 10 percent chance of a legendary card in every pack and just to give you an idea this game is like magic the gathering no so basically there are different colors there are different creatures and you have also a life so your goal is obviously to damage your opponent until his life is zero okay or negative no so i will teach you everything you need to know don't worry and i will also put Filipino subtitles throughout this video for those of you who don't speak okay, English fluently, don't worry. Okay, so as you can see, you have the option to buy one origin card pack or 10, so it really is up to you. And it's made with Unity also, which is another top tier developer. And of course, I'm Danjo Capital Master, I'm willing to help you thoroughly on this game. Okay, so I'm very excited because this may net meaning we could play also with other potential players that are interested in Ordinem. Okay, and obviously as you can see here, so the next step after you purchase your pack, connect your wallet in the game. So make sure you copy this, you can see this link on the screen, copy this one and obviously guys you want to paste it on your Google Chrome browser that has your MetaMask. Okay, so go to your Google Chrome where your MetaMask is connected, okay, and approve it, guys, and confirm. So that's how you connect your wallet in-game, okay? You can just connect it easily. And as you can see, I have enough bull token, and just go back to the game, open the pack. So you're ready to open the packs? Okay, are you ready? You wanna see my cards? So before you we proceed, okay, to this, I just want you to have an idea that there are five colors here. There's the yellow, which is Celestia, purple, which is Necros, green, which is Vitae, red, which is Potentius, and blue is Elementum. Just for you to have an idea, that's what it's called. And each of the decks, no, you could make some decks that are one color, you can make it two colors, it really depends on your style, on your strategy. Each of them have their own strengths and weaknesses, okay? Super cool animation. Did you see that guys? Well made by the developers and as you can see here Okay, so you can see a lot of cards presented guys on my screen right now So I'm screen recording just for you to see and obviously as you can see on my screen guys. It's well made Okay, and of course you need to have an idea how to cast the cards. What are their roles, right? So I will teach you okay so on each card guys, you could see their mana cost on the left side, meaning okay, how many mana do you need? So the mana here is called Weave. Weave is like land on Magic the Gathering. If you're playing Magic the Gathering like me, I've been playing Magic the Gathering for almost 5 years. Okay, so I have excellent experience regarding card games. But for you to know, if you have enough Weave, you could cast the card. Okay, so for example, it's 2. Okay. Two weave, okay. You could cast it after having two weave, so it really depends. Now, it, if it has a number, for example, this one, two, okay, two elementum weave plus this number, you will add it up to make it casted. No, to cast it, you need to add it up, all right? That's how easy it is. So, in Magic the Gathering, for example, this one, it's three to cast because you need two, okay, weave and plus this one, which is purple which is necros weave so basically you just need three necros weave and you could cast this if you're on a solo necros deck which is quite easy to understand okay and obviously we need to open more packs because we need to build our own deck okay 
we couldn't just fight with just few cards so make sure you buy a lot of packs so you could build your own deck guys right which is quite amazing and it's really top tier guys okay and of course you could just open packs as much as you want okay you could select and you could see your creatures as well and you could analyze them what are their casting what are their abilities because each card is different on their own way meaning guys not all cards are the same okay? i want you guys to analyze each card for you to master it guys all right and as you can see guys the opening is so good okay so for example guys you want to select a creature for example this one is called welds reclaimer okay so as you can see it's seven five meaning its attack is seven its defense is five of course, there are certain abilities that could enhance their attack and defense. For example, there's an, another creature that when it enters the battlefield, all creatures get plus one, plus one. Okay, all, all, for example, all Celestia gets plus one, plus one. All Vite gets plus one, plus one. So, you have to be aware about that, okay? They have different abilities. And obviously, we want to open all packs, guys, for you to see it all. And we could create our own deck live. So you could follow this tutorial, rewatch it, and get some tips from me when building your own deck, okay? So as you can see guys, no, it's really easy and fun, okay? When you get the game, it will be massively enjoyable and fun no? to play with your friends. I encourage you guys to invite your friends as well because it's not good to play alone this game. And although there's the solo option, I encourage you to play with friends, which is more exciting and you will think more no? so as you can see guys there are legendary as well no so there are rare and different kinds of i don't know cards no so common and common rare legendary and for me it's all about balancing your deck because the most important thing about creating your own deck it should be balanced you couldn't put many high cast casting creatures on your deck because you know it will take time to cast them all Especially if you don't have a lot of weave producing cards. You understand? So you want to play at balance. You have some small cards, low to cast. You could cast it on the first turn, second turn, third turn. And you ha want to save some cards for the long game. Okay? For the games that are on the 5th to 7th to 8th turn. It really depends sometimes the games in ordinary takes around 20 to 30 turns before it ends so it really depends on the battlefield it really depends on the enemy if your enemy is also high iq for example me i am fighting an enemy which is also high iq as me then there is potential that i would lose okay and there's also a potential that my strategy will not be enough okay so you have to analyze each of your cards especially different abilities no for example you have a new card you read the description first before casting it okay and when your opponent casted a new card you want to read it first you don't want just to end turn battle you know guys you need to be meticulous okay so as you can see i'm just opening different card packs and i'm getting new cards which are good i'm really excited to build my own deck no so let me know your comments on the comment section below i'm excited no if you love this game guys go to playable games right now on their discord on the description below interact with them and download the ordinem app on epic games already oh i want you to download it and play it oh, if you really want it so for example this one on top as you can see angels of determination guys this is so strong as you can see you will only need four weave and it's six five six attack five defense it's really enough to kill your opponent and usually the game you only have 35 life unless you have cards that produces and makes you gain more life so usually that's not the case that's why if you have only 35 life and you have a 6-5 creature okay a celestia creature then obviously this angel will end the game and make you win if you have more cards okay obviously if the opponent has blockers he could block this and if if on the fourth turn because you could cast this on the fourth turn so for to cast if you could cast this on the fourth turn your opponent usually has two three 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 creatures so it's not that enough to fight this beast no to fight this angel i mean <laughs> so it really depends on the cards really and that 
strategy that you will imply as well. And I really have a lot of belief that this game will go massively good, okay? Massively famous as well. Because number one, the developer which we will be playing later is top tier, okay? I really know his father, Mr. Old Bull, and also he's one of the greatest no, developers ever made, which is uh, Mr. Lumas, okay? And Mr. Lumas is one of the best when it comes to developing games. That's why this game is so good, guys. As you can see, okay, I really enjoyed opening packs. And make sure you have enough packs, guys. No? So don't just buy one pack. If you really have the budget, guys, go with 20 packs minimum. Just like what I did to maximize okay, the potential that you will have in this game. And surely you will enjoy because this game is so fun to play okay and even if you are beginning to learn right now you will easily understand this game you don't need magic the gathering experience just like me it will just add up okay if you have the experience and the key to winning this game guys is because when you're playing this game guys you have the option to weave or draw a card before casting anything so my strategy, okay, I will give you a strategy. Just go weave. Okay, just go weave. Because the more mana you have, the more spells, creatures, or you could play a lot of things from your card to the field, right? But there's also a strategy that I want you to implement that if you don't have enough cards in your hand and you have a lot of mana already, then just draw a card, okay? So, you know, a lot of strategies, a lot of things that I want you to learn. And the goal of this game is to damage the opponent, okay, make his life zero, make his or her life zero because your opponent can be a girl or boy. And the goal is you don't want, okay, to lose life. You want to kill your opponent before he kills you, okay? And as you can see, a lot of dual colors already, so you could use dual decks. But just my advice, guys, just stick to one color if you want to win and to master okay the color because having two colors instantly makes it more harder to cast it to balance the deck to utilize some strategies okay and as you can see it's only the last two packs so let's finish this guys before we proceed to creating our own deck and after creating our own deck we could already play so there will be time spots okay time highlights on the description below so you can click it and you will instantly see the gameplay the battlefield with the developer and obviously to enjoy okay and as you can see guys this is our second to the last deck and as you can see these are good cards right it's well made uh, as you can see deal two damage to any troops which is quite good so a lot of things guys that you need to learn okay and obviously, I know you're excited to play this game. Danjo, come on, let's play this game. So you could skip this already and move forward to the game if you want to see the game already. But me personally, I still want to make you learn, no? especially when creating your own deck. Because this is what you will be watching after buying the pack. Okay, now you have no packs left to open. This is the perfect time. So what to do? Of course, you could already organize your own deck, guys. Okay? So, from the homepage, guys, as you can see, this the homepage, just go to your decks, okay, on the top, and create new deck, and you could name your deck whatever you want. So, for example, you want to name it Celestia, Vite, or you want to name it New, okay, it really depends on you. And then on top, you could deselect and select cards. This is basically like a filter, okay, you want to filter one to cast, two to cast. You want to filter their type, for example, Celestia. Uh, it really depends on what you want. What cards do you really want? Do you want to create a Celestia deck? Do you want to create a duo deck that composed of Celestia and Necros? Okay, it really depends on what you want. So, for example, me, let me create a Celestia and Necros deck. So, we will create a yellow and a purple. Okay, if you want to call it yellow or white, okay, it's really up to you. It's the same color. So, me personally, I will go with Celestia Necros for me. This is the basic and fastest way to win. Actually, I got a tip from the developer himself. He said that Necros is actually the strongest 
So I don't know if they will patch it, but Necros is really strong, guys. So if you build Necros from your first deck, I really do believe that you will win most games. Unle unless, no, you're really low IQ or unless your cards are really bad. So that's the only time that I think you will lose as a Necros. But most of the time, me personally, I already won a lot of games in Necros. So I just want to try other kinds, no, especially if you want to go hard mode just go with vitae or elementum okay it really depends on you but now i'm going to build uh just for you to have an idea celestia in across as you can see on my screen okay i'm already 36 out of 40 advancements so basically you just want to put the cards that you want to add okay so there are different creatures different abilities so read them okay different skills guys read them so make sure it's 40 and make sure you're choosing the two colors only now we proceed with weave weave is like the land okay so just select 10 of each color okay that's the strategy if you're going duos which will mean dual color if you're going with single color then just select 20 of that color use your brain please okay you don't want to select two color if you're only trying to build a one color deck okay you want to be smart Okay, I know most of my audience are smart enough. And guys, no, it's really fun. Okay, you could uh, edit your settings if you want. Okay, you could change your deck on the homepage selected deck on which you will use play to play PvP. PvP. And now, we're going to play with the developer. You could hear yeah. some of his voice okay, on some parts. But most of the parts, I will cut his voice for you to hear me clearly and explain well. Okay? Oh, but yeah. Now, yeah, here's the developer. Yep. Listen first. Hooray. Okay, so that's the developer. I really respect him. He is so smart. He is a great person, just like his father, Mr. Old Bull. They are OGs on the game. But basically, guys, the first things first after you click pay, play PvP, no, which is player versus player, or any type of game on the Ordinem, you will see Mulligan Step. Basically, there will be cards presented on the screen. And you will select the cards that you want to put on the bottom of your deck so you could draw new cards. Meaning, these are the cards that are high to cast. For example, you receive a card that is 10 to cast. Oh my goodness, it will take you 10 turns to cast it unless you have a enchantment-like type of card that will produce you to weave when you cast it, you know. It will take time to cast that 10 to cast card. So what do you do? You put it on the bottom. Okay, that's the name of this bulligan step. That's the name of the game. Okay. And obviously, you know, looking at the cards that I have right now. Okay. 6 to cast, 4 to cast, 3 to cast, 3 to cast, 4 to cast, 3 to cast. I don't really think that I will put anything on the bottom unless okay, you want to put it. So it really depends on you if you want to put this. But for me, okay, I think I'll just select this one. This is 6 tokas, so I'll just put the 6 tokas on the bottom and draw a new card. Now, this is it. After doing the mulligan, you have two options. And weave, which will put a new land on the field or draw a card. Draw a card, guys, means you will draw a new card. And weave means putting a land. You wanna in weave first because how can you cast if you don't in weave, right? You need to cast first. So you need a land to cast a card. Right? So please use your common sense guys. Okay. So as you can see, I will now put in weave which makes one mana. Okay. So guys, as you can see, when I click in weave, okay, it will show on the left. As you can see on the left, there's the land. So you will see your land Are on you the searching? left. I just covered it because of my Are screen. You searching? Okay, my screen was covering the entire video. So, just for you to know, okay, the land will be on the left. And when it's increasing, you will see it's two lands. It's two weave already, alright? So, it's clear to you. Okay, and obviously, you have 20 weave. So, it's up to you if you will cast it after 20 turns. Or you will skip putting weave and just throwing your card for that turn. It really depends on your strategy. To PvP. cast, potentially cast on my next turn. So I don't have one to cast spell, so I'll just end my turn. But if you have one to cast spell card, you can cast it, alright? So it really depends on the card, okay, that you will be drawing on the first turn, okay? 
Now, he casted this. You can see, one to cast. He has a 2-2. Two, two. What a Celestia deck. So, really fortunate. Okay, he was really fortunate to have that card on the first turn. Okay, and me personally, I have two options. So, as you can see, guys. Okay, I have option to just end my turn. I could uh, draw again, but I don't want to draw. I need to cast and, and weave. Okay, a weave. So, meaning, I have two weaves now. As you can see, I have two weaves. See, I have two mana. And I don't have anything on my card that can be produced on the second turn. So, meaning, I have no choice. I have to end my turn again. And looking at my opponent, he has many cards that are ready to cast on the first and second turn. Because, guys, his cards are just one to cast and easily to cast, no? So, this is the big problem, guys. If you just select on your deck high to cast creatures, high to cast spells, it's hard, guys. Especially on the beginning phases. But let's see what will happen, okay? Now, he is declaring to attack. Guys, this is what you need to know. When you cast a card first, it cannot attack on the first turn. It can attack the next turn. But, guys, as you can see, you could damage on you or you could block. Meaning... When the opponent declares an attack or when you declare an attack, you have the option to, to block the attack if you have a creature, which I will show later. But usually, since I don't have a creature on the field, I will just take the damage, alright? So, that's the name of the game, alright? So, I'm trying to make it clear for you. And now, I weave again. I have three. So, I have three mana. I could cast a lot of things already. So, I decided to cast that. Because it's a strong card. And you want to read your card, guys. Alright? I want you to read your card. Because you don't want to be just casting, casting, casting. And you're not reading anything. Okay? You want to strategize for you to win upon your opponent. And of course, there are a lot of factors to consider, no? If you're low life already. Okay? And of course, he casted another one. Okay? And it's my turn. So I have an option to in weave or draw. And I just weave. Okay, so as you can see, when this enters, void an enemy until this leaves on the frontier. Okay, so meaning, void means it will put it on the void. It will put it on like a super graveyard. Okay, so meaning, if I target an enemy using this, it will banish. It will be gone. Right? So that's it, guys. It's like a massive card that really destroys an opponent. So... I will cast it, so I'm still thinking, you know me. I have 58 seconds left to think, as you can see on the lower part of the screen. So you want to think, but I need to do this because I need to destroy an opponent card. Because he will just keep on attacking me, okay? You have to be meticulous as well. And I will attack because my creature, as you can see, is 4-4. Four, four. So he has the option to block, okay? But he cannot kill me, even if he blocks two creatures. Why? Number one, I am 4-4. Four, four. His creatures... One is one attack, the other is two attack. So even if you add both of them, it's just three. Mine is four defense. So how will I die? Okay, this is a perfect move that I did. This high IQ move. So as you can see, even if the my opponent, who is the developer of this game, is playing my cards, he will do the same. He will attack. Okay, so it really depends on your strategy, guys, on what you will do. But now you're understanding it. Okay, I have a lot of respect with them because they made this game and they are smarter than me. Okay, obviously I'm smart but they are smarter than me. So, guys, as you can see, okay, he casted another one. So, as you can see, he did another enchantment that will increase his life and attack. So, it increased plus, ayan, plus one, plus one whenever a twine enters the frontier. So, if, it means, guys, it got plus two, plus two because there are two. So, it's obvious that I'm going to lose this game. <laughs> because my hand is so bad. And there's another one. Okay, another card that he plays. Entwine ally follower. Gets plus 2, plus 2 and becomes an angel. So, basically, he got plus 4, plus 4. Oh my goodness, guys. So, it really depends on what you will do. Okay, at this point. But, guys, obviously, you got the point already. So, I'm... A massive disadvantage, 29 life, he's 31, and I have bad cards. I still have a chance to win, obviously, but it's less likely with my cards in my hand. So, I will just cast this one. So, you have the options to cast whatever you want. For example, this one or this one, that's bargain. 
But for me, I need a creature right now, okay? So, guys, I don't need to draw or anything. I need a creature to cast. So, as you can see, when this enters, it has Decay 3. So, Decay 3 means each turn it loses attack and defense, no? Decay 3, 3 turns. So, plus 1, minus 1 each turn. But I need a stronger creature to cast, guys. So, I casted that one. Okay, it really depends on what your strategy is, okay? Because... Sometimes you want to hide cards first before casting them because you have a plan that when he casted a bigger creature, you want to use that. So, you know, this is high IQ stuff, I know. But guys, you will adapt after playing a lot of games, okay, with me. And you will surely enjoy, okay. And as you can see, guys, no, he, I have the option to declare an attack. But obviously, I will not because his creature is 5-6. I am 4-4. Four, four. Guys, no chance. No chance. I'm just thinking of the next game at this point. <laughs> no chance. So maybe you have a chance if you have good draw, you know. But at this point, it's turn 5 and my cards are like this. I'm expecting better guards and my opponent is really smart. So it's over for me. But let's see. So you have the option to damage or just block it. I don't want to block it because I will lose creature and I have more life. I have not been okay i have not been trying to defend creatures and lose the creature instead of taking it okay, personally because i prefer just reducing my life as much as possible unless my life is below 10 so if my life is below 10 i will not take the damage i will block as much as possible and it really depends on different cases but most of the time i take damage instead of losing my creatures because there can be times when my creature is valuable okay i could use it in the future so this one, Battalion Chorister, other ally followers get plus one, plus one if they're Celestia. So as you can see, this is a bad card to put in my deck. Number one, I shouldn't have put in this on my deck. It's my mistake because I am a dual color deck. And doing this, plus one, plus one if they're Celestia, meaning my cards that are Necros will not even benefit from this. So... No, if, you, if I was a pure Celestial deck, I would have put in this, but I was not thinking a while ago. So, you know, I learned from my mistakes. You know, the difference between me and other people, I learned from my mistakes. And other people, they just don't analyze their mistakes. Okay, so as you can see, okay, I have 23 life. He has 31. Still has potential to win, no? So, let's see. But if he casted more creatures... You know, I don't know. Because I have a 6-5 creature. He has 6-7. I couldn't even kill his creature. <laughs> unless I will double block. Okay. And he casted two creatures now. Which is another divinity. Okay. Uh, divinity means when an uh, ally of his, that is Celestia, enters. He gets plus one, plus one. So, it's 7-8 right now. I will try to double block. And, okay, let's see. I will not get any damage. I will double block. One of my creature will die. As you can see, he killed my angel, but he will die also. So, it's a good move from me. That's the best thing that you could do when you are playing my part at that point. Okay, so I'm trying to make it easier for you. And I don't want to draw yet because I have still cards on my hand. I could cast creatures or I could use this. Okay, it really depends on what you want. And at this point, guys, no, you want to think because, guys, I only have 23 life. So, when you have a lot of life, you're not that meticulous, you know? But <laughs> so, as you can see, guys, I will just cast this. Looking good. Another spell, guys. Hopefully, hopefully, it's a right move. It's another creature when this enters. Decay 3. Okay. And when it's destroyed, it will, of course, transfer, okay? The decay to the target. So, meaning it will lose attack and defense each turn. But it's high, it's high defense. is 3-6. So, it will take time. And... When it dies, it will transfer the DK, which you will see later. Okay, I will show you how I will transfer it because I will let it die. Okay, so it's it's opponent's turn. I casted two creatures. Really fun game, you know. I, I, ex I appreciate the graphics. I appreciate everything. And as you can see, while we do this one, you can see there's the advancements. There's the weaves. Uh, advancements is basically your deck. Weaves is your land. Boneyard is your graveyard and Void is like the super graveyard. So, that's how it is, guys. And, you know, I explained everything you need to know already. So, just declare attackers and then enter if you don't want to attack. And I let my opponent make his own mistake if he will make a mistake. Because, guys, my 
opponent is high IQ. So there's no possible way that he will make a mistake. And he is the developer. So obviously, I'm in a disadvantage. On guard. Oh, okay, I don't really have that much that I want to attack with, but I'll attack with that. So you heard his voice. Okay, he attacked and I Oh, yeah, block. okay. Okay, I block using my creature that has the decay, which is a smart move from me. It will transfer the decay to him. So you gave my thing decay? So, so yeah, you know, it died just leave. and it gave. Yeah, so this has decay three. So I use this death bar gain, okay? So I can see the tougher cards, draw two of them and put the rest on the bottom. So it's basically you just draw two and put the rest on the bottom. Because I need to draw at this point, I'm losing. So you can see these are my cards, you could choose two. So for example, I will choose this one. Okay, it has the flicker effect, okay, that you could see. And when a frontier enters, you could flicker an ally follower, which is uh, the ability to, to play it again and cause any abilities targeting that permanent to I don't know, lose their target, which is quite important. So, honestly, at this point, guys, my cards are not that good. I'm expecting a creature that's 10 10 or more, just like his. You know, but unfortunately, it's too late, especially when you're playing a Necros or Celestia. If you're a Vite, which I will use a little later, no? Vite is the green one nature. Oh, and you see the Vigilant Knights? I have a chance to win, okay? But I'm not Vite. It's got minus three, minus three, so three, four. Yeah, he was pertaining to the v Vigilant Knights because of the DK. Okay, he is losing the attack and defense. So, obviously, that's the power of DK. Yeah. I mean, it's not as strong because you're decaying. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, I was speaking to him, but you cannot hear my voice, only him. And that's better, I right, for you to understand more clearly. Fair enough. Um... I mean, I think I just do this. So he casted <laughs> A, 9-9, which in turn became I had a second 13, one. 13 so guys at this point it's over you know I already see it it's over his uh, cards possibly. are way better than mine he's attacking obviously I have the I have the decision to block to prevent death no? to prevent me losing you do have turn. to block something yeah yeah he's saying I need to block something obviously and he is smart you know uh, he could already okay. see that he's winning this so that's it guys, you know, uh, sometimes you lose, you know, it's part of the game. If you don't lose any game, it means you're not battling with the top tier opponents. Uh, oh yeah, you you're really lose. low. So yeah, even if I cast all these cards on my hand, it's still loose because he has 13-13 creatures, okay, which is one card, which is 13-13. I have nothing to block to defeat that obviously he has more creatures than me i wouldn't and as a no in that in that deck i wouldn't have the battalion quite uh, how do you say it battalion choristers i i always forget how to fucking say it um the battalion choristers only buff things if they're celestia or great point which i told a while ago if you have this one you don't want to be on a two color deck you want to put it on a single color which is celestia deck less because half your stuff is necros you're not really getting the full bonus so it's good in my deck because all of my followers are, are celestia but for you you probably want to change that to something else i'd also arguably get rid of the flicker magus because oh you could flicker the um aspirants that works Oh, never mind. Yeah, 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 that's what you managed. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Um, so, he's giving me advice. You know, obviously, I'm the beginner here. He's the pro one, and I respect that. You know, <laughs> I take advice from Yeah, I, 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 I think you're just. Uh, you, you can. So, he was thinking I could still block, but obviously, it's too many creatures, and it's it's an instant loss for me. Oh, no, actually, yeah, you're, you're dead either way. Unfortunate. So, defeat. 
Yeah. Now I will change my deck and play another game for a rematch and I will try to win. Let's choose Vite. Yeah, play. Yeah. Play Maybe. PvP. So as you can see, there's tutorials as well. You can learn if you want to learn tutorials. There's solo to practice. Okay. And there's the store to buy cards on top. So you have all the options oh, okay. and you know everything already. So as you can see, Mulligan, same thing again. Okay, select your cards. Yeah. And as you can see, I've matched with another player. It's not him. So I will rematch with another opponent, which is clearly a good thing because it will force me to, you know, to grow and to implement more strategies to win. And as you can see, wow. Wow. First turn, he has three creatures, guys. When it comes to this game, do you think I will lose? No, I will not lose this game. Watch and learn. Okay. So as you can see, it's very fun. Okay, the gameplay is superb. It's really direct to the point. And looking at the gameplay, okay, I could already end my turn. So make sure, guys, you click end turn because most of you might forget. Okay, just like me right now, I am thinking of a lot of things to win here. So I forgot to press the end on the bottom right. So make sure you click end turn, okay? And then of course, once it's your opponent's turn, he has the option to attack at this point. He has three creatures. I have nothing to block. I have no creatures, so it's free for damage to me, okay? He was just fortunate to have these three cards on the first turn, no? And obviously, things do happen, okay? If you don't cast anything, as you can see, just like now, it will automatically end turn. And if you didn't do anything, no? So, I have the option to enweave, okay, and to cast, okay, another uh, skill, no? So, it's my second turn. And, obviously, the best move right now is to cast the Behemoth, okay? Because, guys, the Behemoth is two to cast, and I could block one, okay? Or, I could cast this Aculite Reaver. Actually, this is stronger because it will produce mana. But this one is 2-3 guys. So, you know, I have two options. I could cast an Aculite Cleaver which produces one mana but it's only 2-2. Two, two. This one is 2-3. So, at this point, I need some blocker. I don't need any mana producing creature, okay? So, you have to be smart. And obviously, it's his turn so he can attack. This is what I'm fearing guys. So, after one turn, you could attack already. Guys, this is what I'm fearing. So... It's his turn, guys. He could attack. Okay, it's second turn. He could attack. Turn two. So I will have the option to block. Even if you just casted your card, you can block it. I will block his 2-1, obviously. Even though his other creature has an ability, when you have 5 or more life than your starting life, this gets plus 2, plus 2. But guys, at this point, I need to kill the opponent, the creature that has the highest attack. Because I have only one creature. You have to be smart, okay? Now I have the option to inweave again and I could cast much better cards and I'm planning to win this game guys so as you can see I'm just reading the abilities I uh, make sure you read everything for you to master it as you can see I have the ability to attack okay and as you can see the opponent's life 35 which is good and I'm enjoying you know as you can see guys I'm enjoying this game okay and Obviously, I will win this game, okay? That's just my opinion. And as you can see, Boneyard, okay? I, I sent one of his creature on the Boneyard because I blocked it. And his defense is lower than my attack. So, it's really fun. Okay, I am ready to defeat this opponent. Okay, so at this point, I will inweave. When you're Vite, you just want to inweave and weave because your creatures are high to cast. Okay, and I have the option to inweave again and to cast this one. Okay, so I have one creature that when you exert it, exert means you will cast this ability, it will just stop, you cannot attack it. But uh, you could use the mana no, to cast another spell because that's his ability. And I casted another creature. No. So at this point, I'm, I'm winning already. I could already see his creatures are not that strong compared to me. So my creatures are way stronger than his so I already know that I'm winning guys. So of course everything could happen when you're playing Ordinem. But at this point guys, I already know I'm gonna win. So at this point guys, no? So I will just cast or look at my cards. You know, try to think of my next move. 
I could cast Beast and Pot. We have another follower with 6. I have one, so it will get bonus. Okay, so it's 7 7. And I could cast this one when you play 5 or higher, you get the certain ability. So, as you can see, I'm doing a combo with what I'm doing and I'm planning to attack. So this is one of my mistakes. Look at this. I attack a 6-6 six, six and a 2-3 instead of just attacking the 6-6. Six, six. I forgot he has a 4-4. Four, four. So this is a mistake that you want to okay, avoid. So I lost one creature but I had the direct damage to him. But guys, avoid doing that. Just attack using your creatures that are highly okay, damaged and high attack compared to his. And of course... Sometimes no, you want to attack all of your creatures if his life is just low. It's a strategy, but you want to be using some type of common sense. No? So as you can see, he casted the 6-6, six, six, which is nice. Okay, I'm very excited about the outcome. Because I'm outcome independent as well because I, I want to focus on my cards that will uh, increase my probability to win no, on this game. So as you can see, I have enough weave again, but not to cast this deep root yet. So I just casted that one, 7-7 seven, seven again. And I have the option to attack, so declaring to attack, I have 2-7-7. Seven, seven. I could just use this 2 to combat. No, I have 2-7-7. Seven, seven. He cannot do anything with this 2 unless he triple block or double block 1, which I doubt. No? So at this point, if I was him, I will not block. Okay, I will just take the damage if he was I IQ. So let's see what he will do. Or he could actually sacrifice the 1-1. One, one. If I was him, I would sacrifice the 1-1. One, one. But looking like he will not block. So he got the 2 damage, which is really painful. 7-7-7-7. <laughs> seven, 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 seven. So it's over for him. I think this is a key to victory already. No cuts, guys. As you can see, no editing, no cuts. Because, guys, you know... I really want to show you how to win here. I really want to show you what I'm doing. And I really want to implement my strategies to you, show you my mistake, show you my opponent's mistake, for you to learn more and you to adapt on this game. Rewatch this, no? This will be a long video. Rewatch it. Okay? Because I did a lot of my time to learn about this game as well. So it's not one day. It's, guys, it's eight sessions. 9 sessions of practice before I mastered this game. And I was playing Magic the Gathering before I was fighting for tournaments for money. So obviously I'm not an ordinary player. And as you can see I casted the 9-9 uh, buff no, to make it 9-9. And as you can see he has 7-7. So mine is stronger than him. Okay and next turn I could cast this Deep Roots Rider. And this one it gets plus 1 plus 1 of rich ally. Na meron nga. So very exciting. No? So as you can see, you can combat it. And I'm very excited. I will just go battle him. So I'll just use my creatures that are high in their damage and it will finish him. Okay, so let's see if he will block. Obviously he might he must block. At this point, he must block. So he block his one one and the rest he take damage. Which I will do as well. But for me guys, I would have blocked the seven seven using the seven seven of him. But he is to play safe. He don't want to lose creatures. Because he is gaining plus one plus one every weave. So each land that he produces, he gets plus one plus one. It's now eight, eight before it's seven, seven, that creature. So he's trying to boost it, no? To try to beat me. But obviously, I already know that, you know, it's hard for him to win at this point. Seven life, I have, guys, I have five creatures and it will be six at this turn. So he just attack try to do some damage before he lose he, I think he already know that he will lose at this point no 7 life versus 33 and I have much more creatures than him so you know I could block actually but I will just take the damage I will just be a man and take the damage no? because I could attack all on my next turn and it will be over for him okay so that's how you win guys no I will just draw right now and end my turn by defeating this opponent so I could cast the deep root strider already which is 8-8 eight, eight, and whenever these attacks are blocked you, you and enemy player both and weave okay so as you can see guys okay very exciting and I, I draw one card as you can see there because I have a creature whenever an advance whenever a new creature enters that is 5 or more I draw a card so basically it's part of the ability and I will just attack all to end this game no, it's it's over for him. 
I win this game. It's victory for me. So I'm just happy that I won. No? So unfortunately, it's not devel the developer, but we played a lot of games with the developer, which I really respect, and th he is a very smart guy. <laughs> The potential to increase over time, no? The value. And try to play this game, okay? So, Danjo Capital Master, Dennis the King, hope you watch this long video. I made this for you, for you to learn well, guys. Have a nice day.